Welcome to our new series, The Puppy Paws, here in Denali National Park and Preserve. We know that all of you have been really excited to watch our puppies grow up on the puppy cam last summer. What we're hoping is every few weeks we'll update a new couple minutes of looking inside the training that begins the day our puppies are born. The process begins now of growing up to be an amazing working dog here in Denali. she gave birth to her puppies and this is where I stayed through the whole process. So from 10.30 on I was just curled up on an insulate pad with my head inside the house. And the first puppy, who was a little black and white male, arrived at about 5 o'clock in the morning. After the puppies are first born, I think one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that most of their days are spent sleeping and eating. At this point in their lives, the puppy's eyes and ears are closed. They can't urinate or defecate on their own, and they don't generate their own body heat. So they are really entirely dependent on mom. I always refer to them as little heat-seeking missiles. They're looking for the warmth of mom's body and they're trying to latch onto a teat to nurse and feed. One of the earliest forms of training that we do with our puppies will really start usually around age day three. Um, and we do just some really basic stress testing and studies have shown that by putting puppies just under a minimal amount of stress, it'll actually help them be able to better handle stress later in their lives. So when I say stress testing, it just means that we're holding the puppies upright, tilting them upside down, holding them on their backs and tickling them between their toes with a Q-tip. We do it for you know, three to five seconds for each of those positions each day. What it will lead to is an adult dog who handles different stresses that they might encounter for us out on the trail in winter um, much better than a dog who hasn't been through this initial puppy stressing phase.